Hey guys, what's up? This is Ryan and today I do have a tutorial for you guys. I'm going to show you how to install Windows 8 on your Mac or Windows 7 computer. So you're going to need a few things. So you're going to need VirtualBox, which is a virtual system program you're going to be able to install other operating systems on. And you're going to need the .iso file for Windows 8, which was actually just released today officially on Microsoft's website for consumers. So after you get them both, you're going to install VirtualBox and then you're going to basically open up VirtualBox and then click new on the top left. After you do that, you're going to be brought up to this menu. You're going to go ahead and click next and you're going to have to give your um, device a name. So we're going to name it something like Windows 8 so you know what it is. And then you're going to choose the operating system you're currently running on. So I'm running Windows 7 64 bit. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose that. But you guys go and choose whatever system you have. And then you can go ahead and click next. And then you're going to um, actually select how much memory you want to actually be on your virtual system. Typically, you're going to choose around half of what your real system has. So mine has four gigs. I'm going to put around two gigs, something around there. That will let the virtual machine actually run. So we'll go around two and then we'll go ahead and click next and you're going to have to create a virtual hard disk I suggest you just click create new hard disk and then click next and you'll be brought up this next menu just click next as long as VDI is checked and then it's going to ask you virtual disk storage details you're just going to want to typically put dynamically located unless you do want to fix size but I'm going to go dyna dynamically located go ahead and click next and now it's going to ask you for a location just leave it how it is and then it's going to actually ask you for the size of the hard disk so if you want to make it 20 gigs or 40 do whatever you like I'd say typically you're gonna to want to put around 40 gigs that will give you enough room for everything you need And then you click next and then you click create and you're all done with this part now we have a whole nother part we're actually gonna to have to load it up you'll have down here Windows 8 1 or whatever you named it you're going to actually go ahead and go up to the top and click start it'll start up the virtual machine and you'll get a pop-up click OK there's nothing wrong and then you're gonna go ahead and click next and then it's going to ask you for the installation media you're gonna go ahead and click this folder right here and you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna find the .iso windows 8 file you actually downloaded now this file is going to take around a few hours maybe 30 minutes to download it depends on how fast your computer is and your internet is but the .iso file you're gonna actually open it up on the virtual machine and click next and then now you're gonna get a summary you can go ahead and click start and it will bring up the virtual machine and it's going to basically start up the virtual machine and it's going to start the installation process but first you're going to actually need to provide it with a key which you can get on the website so of course if you're watching this you're probably in English so go ahead and choose English and that you're in the US and then you can click next and then click install now and now it's going to ask you for the product key you can actually get this on the website that I linked to you in the description below It's going to give you the product key for on um, Windows 8 now you can just type in what I'm typing in I'll leave it in the description below or you can just go to the website and you can copy and paste it as D N J X J 7 X B W 8 2 3 7 8 T X 2 2 T X B K G 7 J and then you can go ahead and you can click next and then you can read this if you really want to but I'm gonna send click I accept I don't do that and then it's going to ask you for the type of installation just go ahead and typically push custom and then you're gonna have to click this one right here drive zero or whatever yours happens to say and then click next and now it's going to start the installation process please know this is going to take one to two hours it's going to have to install everything on your virtual machine this is most likely going to take two hours of total time and after this it's actually going to restart the system and it's going to do a bunch of stuff and it's going to restart your machine many times that's going to take another 30 minutes it really depends on how fast your computer is 
But anyways, I'm going to skip this. I'm not going to let you watch all this. This is going to take forever. Just just sit back and do anything you want. Go walk away from the computer, I'd suggest, and come back in about an hour or two. So now after everything is done with the installation, you're going to actually be brought to this fish screen like you have been probably for the last hour. And you're actually going to be able to set up your computer finally. So after everything is done, it's probably going to bring you to the setup screen and you're going to have to choose your color, your login name, and everything you would have to do on a regular Windows computer. So right here you can basically click your background color, whatever color you'd like, and then you're going to type in your PC name. I'm going to type in Ryan because that's my name. And then I'm going to go ahead and I can go ahead and click enter and I can click and it will bring me to the next page. And then it'll let me set up some settings here. Just go ahead and choose Express Settings and then go ahead and click Enter. Go ahead and click Sign Up for New Email Address. And now you're going to sign up for a brand new Microsoft account if you don't have one actually right now. So I'm just going to type in some random stuff here. Let's go in and type in my password. And then I'm going to type in my first and last name. And then my zip code. And then I can go to the next page. And I'm going to type in some. Uh, you can get a code sent to your mobile phone number to help you reset your password. Okay, I'm just going to type in some random phone number here. Because I already have a Microsoft account. And then a security question. And go ahead and type that in and then I'm all done just have to choose my date of birth if you're under 21 or 18 I suggest that you put an age over 21 go ahead and select 1988 mail to type in this 1820 there we go and click enter and you'll be finished up right there you know, go ahead and finalize all your settings and it's going to load up your computer in just a few moments. And this is my very first boot up here. It's going to give my name and my email address right below it. That's pretty cool that they do that. And then they prepare your Windows and it's going to basically bring up your Windows 8 computer. Now personally, I have never played around with Windows 8. Yeah, this is my actually my very first time loading it up. And it already looks very nice. I like how they have the nice smooth background and you have the photo that you could possibly put on the left. And it looks really nice overall compared to Windows 7 and Vista. Now don't get me wrong, Windows 7 did look nice. But I think Windows 8 is going to have an overall smoother design and layout to it. Now guys, that's it for the tutorial right there. I hope you got it set up. If you didn't, then let me know in the comments below. As you see right here, this is Windows 8. It has the nice time right here and the date right below it. This is my first boot up ever. And as you see right here, we do have the start menu here and we have many icons to choose from. We have store, Xbox Live, photos, internet. And this is really a lot smoother than Windows 7 and I think I'm gonna enjoy it. guys. Remember to leave a comment below with any questions, subscribe for more videos like this because I will be doing more videos on Windows 8, expect one in the upcoming week. I'm going to go over many of the features of Windows 8 on this virtual machine. And remember to hit that like button if I helped you guys today. I'll see you guys in the next one.